Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Ask Us Anything, also known as Awuwa, where we gather all of your questions from the internet and answer them. This is all Jamira's fault. I need to say Awuwa every episode now, so yeah. Anyway, so on today's episode, we are going to talk about the new Instax Mini 11 and whether if it's worth buying or should you just get the older versions like the Instax Mini 8. And also, if you're someone who owns the bean-shaped Samsung Galaxy Buds Live, do you know that there's actually a proper way to clean them? Okay, so without further ado, let's get started on today's episode. So for the first question, we have Chris Patterson. He asks, do you know a good way to clean them? Cheers! So for context, he's actually referring to the Samsung Galaxy Buds Live. You know, the bean-shaped earbuds from Samsung? So yeah, there's actually a right way to clean them. Samsung does have a proper guide on how to clean the earbuds on their official website and I will also put the link down in the description box below. But it is actually pretty simple. First, remove the wing tip carefully. And remember, don't put too much force here yeah, because you might accidentally damage it. Then, all you have to do is to grab a cotton bud and clear the dust and also dirt from the earbuds. But if you don't have a cotton bud with you, don't worry because you can also use a dry soft cloth to actually wipe off all the dust from the earbuds. Just try to avoid using things like wire brushes and also metal to clean your earbuds because harsh bristle may damage them. You can also use the cotton swab or cloth to clean the charging contacts and sensors on both earbuds as well as the contacts inside the charging case. And once you're done, all you have to do is to attach the wing tip back to the earbuds. Simple as that! So next up, we have a comment from Ekraj Ganesan. He said, So this is what Ichimi evolved into lah. It's just nice like a morning recap for me to watch while I get ready for uni. Even though Ichimi was still taken away from me, I am less sad now. Ha 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 Hey Ekraj, thank you so much for the comment and thank you for supporting us throughout the journey. I am so glad that you enjoyed the show and we will continue to do more in the future. So for those of you guys who don't know what Ichimi is, it is actually stand for In Case You Missed It and this used to be our daily news show where we talk about the latest tech news. And after 600 over episodes, we have decided to change things up. And that is why we have come up with two brand new shows which are Trends where we talk about what's trending around the world of tech and also this show, Ask Us Anything, where we pick comments from you guys on our YouTube channel and Facebook page and answer them. So if you have any suggestions or any crazy ideas that you want us to do, remember to put them down in the comments section below and we will definitely check it out. Okay, next up we have the Meh Show. She asks, is the Instinct Mini 11 worth buying or should I get an older version? So if you guys have not watched Zamira's review of the Instax Mini 11, remember to do so because it is super fun to watch. The one Zamira review is the Instax Mini 11 BTS Butter Edition and it costs a whopping 488 ringgit while the regular Instax Mini 11 is only priced at 335 ringgit. The difference is huge and if you're planning to get the latest and greatest, I suggest you to get the regular Instax Mini 11 because you're going to save up to 153 ringgit. But besides the outlook, the Instax Mini 11 is a pretty decent instant film camera. The pictures look really good and they are super clear and crisp. But if you're looking for something more affordable, you can actually consider the Instax Mini 9 and it is priced at 225 ringgit. Personally, I have not tried the Instax Mini 9 but I did try the Instax Mini 8. The photos from the Instax Mini 8 has a more vintage feel to it. It may not be as clear as the Instax Mini 11 but personally, I think it looks really good because you will get this really old school feel to it. And plus, you get to save a huge amount of money too. Okay, so for the last comment, it is actually referring to the new iOS 15.4 update where iPhone users can now unlock their smartphone while wearing a mask. Okay, so Shafiq Stay Home Dad says, Only for iPhone 12 and above? Oh, Apple. Yeah, when I first heard of it, I am very disappointed too but not surprised. Since iPhone 11 also comes with Face ID, right? I don't understand why Apple don't want to add this feature into the iPhone 11 series. But yeah, the new iOS 15.4 update now allows users to unlock their iPhone while having their face mask on. So this is only available for those who owns an iPhone 12 and above. When the update was announced, I'm actually very excited to try this new feature. It is super convenient because now you don't have to rely on your passcode to unlock your smartphone, which by the way, takes a lot of time. But I realized that the update is not super perfect lah. It only works at a certain angle, but most of the time I get it to unlock my iPhone lah, so that's fine. And in case you didn't know, there's also another way to quickly unlock your iPhone while wearing a mask and that's with an Apple Watch. So if you own an Apple Watch and if you're interested, make sure to check out Zamira's article and I'll put the links down in the description box below. 
So that's it from me. Thank you guys so much for watching. Remember to like our video if you liked it and subscribe to our YouTube channel if you haven't already and also click on the notification bell icon so you won't miss any of our future videos. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye. Happy Friday.